and I want to talk to you about something that showed up a bunch in conversations that I had with patients this week, and that is, why am I not getting into ketosis? So in my office, we've got a ton of people right now that are using the precision blood reader and measuring their ketones, they're on the ketogenic diet, and they're really uh, appreciating and understanding the benefits that the ketogenic diet um, has for them. But I also have a subset of patients that are frustrated because they're not getting into ketosis. And I know some of you guys are in that same boat because you're emailing me, messaging me, and asking me these questions. So I want to give you a checklist, okay? There really are four reasons your body struggles to get into ketosis. The first is stress. So a lot of you guys know that I had a Dexcom, what they use for diabetics, I was wearing a Dexcom for a month so that I could see what really changed my blood sugar and what, what if it made it go up and what made it go down. And the one, there were two consistent findings that I had with my Dexcom. And the first one was anytime I need, wanted to make my blood sugar go down, I ate fat, any kind of fat, uh, avocado, raw nut butter, um, even I've t I took spoonfuls of coconut oil, and you could immediately see that any type of pure fat like that would make my blood sugar go down. Now remember, when your blood sugar goes down, your ketones go up. So that's the inverse relationship we're looking for. But the second thing that every single time made my blood sugar go high was stress. So, and it was really interesting because I could see, you know, moment by moment with the Dexcom. It's, if you're not familiar with the Dexcom, it's like it actually lives on your body and it's measuring, continuously measuring your blood glucose. So any kind of, like if I have two teenage kids, if I had an interaction, a stressful parenting moment with either of them, boom, my blood sugar would go way up. So if you're struggling to get into ketosis, the first thing you have to ask yourself is, What's stress like? Because it may be if stress is so high that now it's just going to be very difficult for you to get into ketosis. Okay, second, are you fasting enough? A lot of you guys are doing intermittent fasting and you're not able to get into ketosis because you've been doing intermittent fasting so long. You've been doing the, the uh, principles of ketosis for so long. It's time for you to do a dinner to dinner fast. So you need to make sure that you're always pushing your body to that point where it's a little uncomfortable. So if you're doing 17 hours of fasting or 15 hours of fasting, it's time to try 24 or push to 20. If you're doing 24 hour fast every week, it's time to try a 36 hour fast. Just keep pushing yourself to that fasting limit where you're just a little bit uncomfortable. If you're not intermittent fasting at all, I really encourage you to intermittent fast. There's so much great research on allowing your body to go in a 24 hour period to go through a fasting phase. Okay, third reason people struggle to get into ketosis is your gut microbiome. Now I know I sound like a, a broken record, but the gut microbiome is my specialty and we are seeing so many people with massive dysbiosis in the gut microbiome. So let me give you an example, candida. So candida is a fungus that lives in your gut. It's gonna make you crave sugar. So a lot of people go running to the ketogenic diet because they have candida, they wanna stop their cravings, and they can get those under control through the ketogenic diet, but they aren't able to get into ketosis because the, uh, when you have candida in your gut, that fungus gives off an exotoxin that blocks receptor sites for glucose and insulin. So your insulin and your glucose cannot connect and hook together to be used so for energy, so you have all this extra insulin circul circulating in your body. So you have to go looking to your gut microbiome. So if you are one of those people that you're really keeping your carbs down, you really got your good fat up, um, you're doing all kinds of fasts, the third step I really recommend is that you go look to your gut microbiome. And then the fourth step, step and the one that all my, my patients that have, uh, have been working these principles struggle with is that if you've been low carb for a while, it is time for a feast day. I cannot tell you how many cases I see with people who they'll start to go have a high carb day um, and it lowers their blood sugar. Variation is the key. So if you've been stuck in a low carb moment for a long time, your body has set into that as a comfort zone. You need to pull it out of that by increasing your good carbs.
This doesn't mean go eat breads and pastas and things like that. that. It means sweet potatoes and wild rice, really upping your good carbs. Again, with my patients that I coach, I'm really encouraging them to have variation all the time so they don't get stuck. So if you're a ketogenic fan, I want to start off by applauding you. It is really truly one of the greatest diets and the research is amazing what we're discovering about keto, uh, the ketogenic diet for cancer and seizures and Alzheimer's. Um, so much, you improve your memory power. But if you're struggling to get into ketosis, I really want you to look at those four things. What, uh, uh, your gut microbiome, your stress levels, are you fasting enough and are you feasting enough? Very simple, four things. Uh, reach out if you have any questions. If you struggle with ketosis, leave a message me or leave uh, notes in the comment section. I'm here to help you. If you want into my Resetter group, where I'm doing a whole bunch of coaching over in that group, just put Resetters and I'll add you in. I'm also doing weekly reset tips, so if you want on my email list, just put, put your email and I'll add you into my email list. But please don't sit at home and struggle because there's so many things you can be doing. Reach out. I'm here for you. And take those four tips and let me know how you do. Hope that helps.